Alrighty folks, we've got a tutorial today on upgrading our micros to the Betaflight 4.1 version. Um, the reason I'm making this video is that I've seen kind of a, a few various videos. I've seen Joshua Bardwell do one, UAV Tech do one, and Albert Kim do one. And they've each sort of offered different tips. And it took a little while to get my micro quad up and running fully on Betaflight 4.1, including the RPM filter. Um, so I'm trying to have all the information in one place um, and I'm going to link to everyone's channel below in their specific videos if you want more detail but I'm just going to try to cut to the chase for this, how to get it set up and flying. So as I mentioned in this tutorial I'm going to talk about flashing Betaflight 4.1 uh, on micro quads and getting that RPM filter to work because that's really most of the point of getting the upgraded Betaflight version. So first off if you don't have uh, the 10.6 configurator you can grab that from the GitHub page. Um, if you're a Mac user like me, they have some special instructions on how to get it running, so make sure to read those. Once you have uh, 10.6 running, first step to get uh, 4.1 is to flash your firmware. So Betaflight should automatically fill um, these two fields up. If it doesn't fill these two fields up for you, you can connect Chichiri right here on mine. It says MTKS, Matek F411. So you go back here, you find that in a list, make sure you find grab the most recent 4.1 version, click load firmware online, and then click flash firmware. I've already got mine flashed, so I'm not gonna do it. Sometimes it takes a couple clicks to flash firmware, and also sometimes I have to close, open beta flight again, try it again, then you'll see this bar load, and you'll load your firmware. Once you're loaded up, click connect. And if you see this message pop up, be sure to click apply custom defaults, that's very important. Be sure not to um, load any of your old settings from old beta flight versions in the CLI, just do a manual setup. And the most important pieces to set up first are your ports, because we're gonna do some VTX updating here, so make sure your ports are up to date. And one more thing in the configuration tab, make sure you're set to DSHOT 300 and 4K, 4K here. We're not gonna go into the PID tune section yet, um, you can, you know, set up your modes, receiver, all that stuff. You set up your OSD. Um, other new section here, video transmitter. So you, you'll probably notice on yours, this is not set up. I've already set mine up. To get your VTX tab ready to go, you want to go to this site here, and I'll link this down in the description as well as any other links I reference. Um, thanks to Albert Kim for this information here. If you're in the USA and you're running Tramp, download Tramp or the European. And if you're running smart audio like I am, you can click on either the USA or European version. And then once you're in the video transmitter tab, you can go load from file and then it'll it'll import all that information. And this is really nice. It used to be all in the CLI, but now you can set your channel band, power, all that stuff here. Make sure to set your number of power levels. Mine, I'm using the Ishii Nano, so it has 25, 100, 200, 400 milliwatts. So that's four total power levels. And I set those, oh, this is, this is actually messed up here. Four, let's see, three, 400. There we go, save that. So now that you've got Betaflight set up to this point, you're gonna disconnect from Betaflight. Now to get the RPM filter working, because we're running a micro quad, it does not come with BL Heli 32, it comes with BL Heli S, you need to pay for and download this JESC. For any you know micro board you wanna get the four in one ESCs, it's six dollars. Download this license, you, you they'll make you set up an account, log in, then you wanna to go to the BitHub for the JC configurator, download whatever operating system you have. Mine's already installed, so I'll show you what that looks like. So you gotta make sure you have your battery plugged in for this, and also try to have a fan running on your quad because it can get really hot really fast. So now that I'm plugged in, you're going to click read setup. And again, I've already set mine up, but what you'll see is a button here that says license all. You'll click on that. It'll ask you to log in and log into the account you just created on, on jflight.net. And once you're logged in, you'll be able to flash all. So once you, you'll see this button flash all, leave this, whatever it is, click on the most recent version and then click flash. That'll take a couple minutes and then do the same thing with telemetry. Click on that, click the most recent version, click flash, it'll flash all the ESCs, and that'll be it. So we'll disconnect here, 
unplug the battery, go back to beta flight. And now that their motors are set up, and you'll notice a new segment here called bi-directional D-shot. Um, this is what is needed to allow the RPM filter to work. And then you have to fill in this value here, motor poles. So this is something that, this basically means the amount of motor magnets. Um, and for me, most micros are 12. I think it actually says here, typical five inch motors have 14, smaller ones like three inch or less usually have 12. So I actually looked my motor up. I'm running the Esheen 1106, 4,500 KV, or sorry, the Emax. I typed in motor poles. If you go to the manufacturer's page that makes the motor, you can find a little schematic like this. If you're not sure, you'll see something like this framework 9 and 12 P. So this is the number, this is 12 poles. So then just confirming that my motor is 12. Yours is probably 12 if you're running micro, but that's how to, that's how to make sure. Got that set up um, and make sure to go through your battery, your receiver modes, all the normal things you want to do to set this up. And in the PID tune section, this is where um, I grab Josh Bardwell settings. Basically you want to enable the RPM filter, set this to one, leave that as is and then set these uh, change these as they are here this was bardwell's recommendation and then in the motors tab we have some new values here so that shows you that the rpm filter is enabled and that's basically it now um I don't, if you haven't used betaflight 4.1 it's got a way easier pid tune i'll get into the pid tune of my new 4s toothpick in the next video here but um yeah hopefully that helped and streamline the process for you if you have any questions drop them in the comments thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe